today. We are calling the spirits of our ancestors. We are calling the gods that once before we came to this land, who we want to pray to. We are not here to debate who is better, who is stronger, who is greater. We are here to summon all powers to open up this SOS conference. We are here to pray for the strength, for the fulfillment, for the knowledge of what we are to receive during this There are so many limitations that we set for ourselves, that society sets for us, to tell, to tell us what is possible or what is impossible. And I guess I just choose not to follow them. I refuse to choose between the African culture that I was raised on and the African American culture of which I lived in. I, I needed a little bit both to do the, the skill that I was intended to do by a higher power and by a generation that came before me. I remember in college when I was leading a Trayvon Martin rally and they chose me to be the speaker. I didn't want to be the speaker. I was a little bit fearful and I was able to tap into not only the strength of African-American orators that came before me, but using the power calling on my ancestors from Africa as well. And that's something that I think is very important because <laughs> in a sense, we're made to think that being African-American and being African are different and they are both one in the same. And I use my life and my experience as an example of how you can merge both of those cultures together to produce wonderful results of togetherness and power. And it actually took the power of being both African and African American to not only come in into myself as a man, understand my sexuality better, but actually not only fight against the things that I believe in, but fight against certain things that are of my culture that I don't agree with. And that was the hardest part of growing up, becoming a man, and letting those cultures collide. But it took being an African American to really understand my African culture. And it took my African culture to actually perfect being an African American. Some might say they're even one and the same. That culture together to create significance in who I am. That has led me to be an orator, an activist, someone who puts others before himself. But if not for my culture, I may have never been able to lead. So although we are many parts, we are all one body. We are one. They are trying to kill me. But we are one. We are one. Save me. Save us. Save we. We are one. We we are one! 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 We are one!